What's up, what's up, y'all? Morning. Is that my phone? Can I pet that dog? This is going to be fun, I hope. You hope so. All right, well, let's just get this Saturday started. All right, what's up, y'all? What's up, what's up? I gotta remember to switch back and forth from multi-stream to YouTube because some people are on uh, Twitch and, uh, well, I guess you can see it from both of them. And Facebook as well. I like to have this camera to where it looks like I'm looking at you reading <laughs> it'll just be kind of off to the side though <laughs> sounds perfect how's everybody Saturday mine was pretty good my football team won when, when it says we're going live does it not say what we're doing in the title like Teresa asks, what's the project? Hi, TG. Sometimes I feel like it does, and sometimes it doesn't. Does it, does it say, like, what was yesterday's? Ooh, it's uh, rainy, windy, no sunny in, in Brisbane. It's not fun. Michigan State lost. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. It does on the. Okay. I just wondered. Yeah. We are also filming this one for our other channel, APD Time Lapse. If you haven't subscribed, um, do. It says dominoes. Uh, it shouldn't say dominoes. It should say ocean. However, Jeff did make some dominoes a second ago. I did with quick coat. I feel like the camera on me is a little bright. So today I'm going to do a rainbow ocean and I'm going to do the super tilt ocean wave style. And I found personally for me, for this style, just resins diamond coat is the best at holding these types of cells. And so that is why I'm using it today instead of my beloved art coat. Did I just hear a little water boy bell? Is that what it was? I, I kind of hear it. Yeah, that looks a little better. I don't like how bright that was. Yep. Yeah, I hear a little tink tink. You guys, this feature on Just Resin's resin is one of my favorites. The fact that their cap matches the line on the label. That's one of my favorite things. 
The water bed? I can just, like, he's like, you just rest. You need to get some water. Um, if you're wondering, this resin does look a little bit yellow. That is just a thing. Um, it does have UV resistance blockers or whatever. Um, but when part A and part B are separate, part B tends to yellow in any brand. Um, I don't see it that much with our coat, but once you mix everything together, it clears up and once your pigments are in it, it resists. Travis, angry. what's up, Travis? Um, a really awesome feature of this resin is that it expels air, so you don't really have to hit it with that much heat, even though for this process, I, it takes a lot of heat, um, but you can hit it with, I mean, you can just not use heat, and it will um, squeeze out all the bubbles on its own. That's not to say this is, should be used for cast casting and molds. There's Me. Mom and Danny. What's up? Everybody, my mom and pops are in the house. Eunice and Danny. Hi. Hello. Is this the first one y'all have been on in a while? <laughs> Love to see y'all in here. Who took a lay down? So this is a something inch board. It looks like a 24. I think you're right. is and I'm mixing up 10 ounces of resin which would not be enough if I was covering the whole thing but since I'm gonna have um, the sandy area um, with not resin on it I'm hoping this is gonna be enough also I have taped the sides for the frame all the way around because I'm gonna be like super tilting everything and I don't want the resin to catch on to this so I'm hoping this works. Um, Travis wanted to know, I was wanting to know what accent colors Erica wanted with the Mad Hatter for the handle. Travis, whatever you think looks good. I'm down. Mad Hatter is an awesome versatile chameleon color. We need to do more chameleon pieces I feel like. Even though we just did one yesterday, but like with Too Faced. Yeah. What's up, NWA? So, as with all resins, this is a one to one resin, which means you have equal parts A and B. What's up, Rumple? And you have to mix it for. Jacqueline? Three minutes ish. You just want to make sure everything's fully incorporated. So, scrape the sides, your stir stick, and the bottom of your mixing uh, apparatus. He said, haha, no help. That's true. I have no help. Well, purple's my favorite color, so I feel like purple goes well with Mad Hatter, too. Metallic white? Question mark. I'm down with that. Even though the chameleons don't really look good over white, they go kind of a brown color. So keep that in mind. Claire Lawrence, what's up? I was just about to ask where Claire is because she always tells me when I have hey. his three minutes. These are done. Well, here, take There's no longer heat. Take one of the cameras and show them. So Jeff's gonna demold his. I keep wanting to call them dice, but they're dominoes. Dominoes. I made some about thirty minutes ago with a quick coat I guess you just oh look at that how fun is that breaking like old school ice cubes so when you use this resin keep in mind that it is not our coat so you do not have the 45 minute I mean the two hour working time. Look at that. Time. These are shiny. 45 minutes. Mm. 
this turned out way better than the only bad thing is quick coat it dries when it's when you have it in a depth it gets super hot so i think what it does is it dries faster in the center and then you get this really weird it looks like a pool of resin you see that so i don't know what that is i don't know why like i like i said i think it's just because it gets so hot that um but look how nice that looks that is a great finish and if anybody buys this it's at you 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 need to make at least a hundred i'm sorry a hundred uh what, what did i say 12 12 to 13 ounces to fill them you want to fill them all the way up because if you don't you get this little lip you can see that you see it's like a little little lip but you can always sand them just get your sander turn it upside down and just kind of do it till it gets flush but you definitely want to fill these up all the way until it kind of domes almost. So these are actually really nice dominoes. Look at that, and it came out nice and clean. They're real light. one with a little bit of sticky on it I was hoping they'd come out a little bit more mixed but the Midas touch is more of a glitter than a paste and I I didn't want to wait and I didn't want to go searching for the paste of gold because I wanted them to be swirly what's so um, mom and pops what's happening what y'all up to today I did an ocean a while back that was has rainbow colors. I haven't posted it yet, but I had the colors going like this, and I don't really like how it turned out. So I'm thinking about doing just splotches of color for the rainbows. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. So the first color I'm using is Aqua by Color Obsession. You, they can see you now. They can see me now. Um. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. A little uh, bit on the green side. Put, put mica in these uh. In the dots. If you're careful, you could probably put them on the dots of, of the mold, but I'm sure that would take a little while. But, I mean, they, they stand out pretty well. Like, I was worried about that. Like, you couldn't see them, but they're pretty, uh, they're pretty pronounced. I don't know. Are those black gloves reusable? I mean, I guess if you wanted to wipe them off, you could. Yeah. Um, what you could possibly do is, if you don't get a lot of resin on them or any tears, just wipe them off with alcohol, take them off, and then turn them inside out. Because unless you can take them off without turning it inside out, I don't know. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just... I would just go them out. So I'm out of my stock of Bondi, so I'm kind of just making a similar one with Aqua and Blue Lagoon. Everybody says, no, don't do that. They have to be tossed. Those will... Yeah, listen to those guys. They, they know what they're talking about. <laughs> okay. 
now we're going to use a lemon drop for the yellow. These are all tints from Color Obsession. Um, we didn't. I bought this mold off of uh, Amazon. Off Amazon. Amazon. Um, where do we buy the gloves? Off Amazon as well. They're by Venom. I like the Venom ones. But here lately, they've only had medium in stock. Can you dust your mold with mica? You sure can. We did that yesterday. We did it yesterday. Well, it was a mica. And, but plate. we used a different. Uh, we used a different substance to make them. We we used like a plastic, but we used uh, flip flop. What is it? Chameleon. And it turned out really nice. Like these are great colors. Watch out, be the tip of that um, heat gun's hot. Um, it made me think that I would love to just dust the entire thing with chrome or with uh, with gold, and they they will look like little bars of silver or gold. I think that would look nice. Mom is cooking supper. I do believe she is doing decorating our Xmas tree. It looks fantastic and beautiful. Well, I can't wait to see it. Okay, and the last color is just resins, titanium white. Yeah, you can uh, you can go on the on the link down below the video in the description. If you click on any link that's for Amazon and then you go looking for something while you're while you're on our what is that called affiliate link affiliate link then we get just a little portion of whatever you buy and that that helps us out a lot it doesn't cost you anything extra by yeah. the way Amazon just sends us a referral for you guys using our link to get to Amazon All right, we got color. Magenta from Color Obsession, Lemon Drop from Color Obsession, and Aqua mixed with Blue Lagoon from Color Obsession. So first thing I'm gonna do is figure out where I want my shoreline to be. And I'm gonna do this with some clear resin. Is aluminum not powder? We have a powder. I think that's what we're going to do. We have our water line. I'm just scooping the extra of my resin, the clear, into my colors. This waste not want not. Well, and it's good because this mold is shiny. So whatever you put in here will be shiny when you take it out. Did you just start a sentence in the middle? No. And what's good? What? You said, and it's good because... Oh, that it's shiny, that the mold is shiny. Oh. They were talking about the mold. I didn't read that part. Okay, so have, have I decided if I want to do splotches of... I think I want to do spl splotches of color. Just because my that of color just looks a little stagnant, you know? Oh yeah, and by the way, 
That is Erica. I am Jeff. We are Artists Till Death. Hi. <laughs> we are out of Dallas, Texas. Um, we sell, except for this uh, that Domino's mold, we sell everything we're using today on our website. Oh, she's going that route. Yeah, I'm going to do splotches of color. I decided. And I have to remind myself that I don't have two hours working time like I typically do with Stone Cove. Wow. Y'all just hear me out. It's going to look awesome. I'm listening. I'm watching. Just marrying these colors up a little bit on the edges. That's cool. I don't even look like that. I need to choose the color on this. I love working with these transparents. It always looks like I'm using melted Jolly Ranchers to paint with. So I chose these colors specifically because all of them, when they mix with one of the other ones, they all make a good color. Just keep that in mind when you're choosing your colors, especially if you're working with transparents. Don't choose colors that if they should mix together, they would make a horrible, horrible secondary color. Especially when working with transparents, and especially if you're going to be using as much heat as I'm about to use. Alright, now we need to make sure that there's no raw spots. So I'm going to work through the yellow areas first, so I'm not pre-mixing colors together. Yellow, yellow, yellows. All right, now I'm going to choose another finger and do the pink one. Bye, Sue. And pink. Driving to work. That's no fun. I hope you have an awesome day at work, too. Now, y'all are just going to have to hear me out because I know it doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but it will. And then, finger for the blue. This is an ocean floor, a rainbow. Are you asking me or is really? someone asking me? Me. <laughs> yeah, it's rainbow colors and I'm about to make it an ocean. Because they're all going to mix and make the other colors. Ah. Right. Now I'm going to take my titanium white and make it... Just resins in the house. Hey, just resins. What's up? Where's just resin?
right, now I have my white. And I put it down right where my clear met my like sandy area or the gold. So let's pop some bubbles. And then we're gonna make magic happen. I'm just popping these bubbles now so that I can see if there's any little floaters in my surface that may mess up the flow of my resin. And it looks like we're good. Like I said before, this resin will get rid of the bubbles on its own. And on top of that, we're about to use a whole bunch of heat, so. All right, I also have set out some coasters just behind where all of this resin is probably gonna flow off to try to catch some of the overflow. Because it always looks really neat. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt this a little bit. Put my heat gun on high and I'm using this special cake topper attachment. And I'm going to hit the white and work it down and m keep moving all the way down. One section at a time. Hello, Noel. How are you? Time for some magic. I can see it mixing. On that FD. There, you can see all the colors. That looks crazy, babe. That's so fun. Now we wait. Because it's all going to continue to do stuff. I don't understand how I don't see. I see everybody's comment. Oh, there's just resin. I see you. Welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing today? How's the new baby? It's a baby. A baby. <laughs> Babe, that looks so amazing. Way better than my last Rainbow Ocean. By a million. Even though I feel like I maybe heated it up a little bit too much here. I had a lot of runoff. But we'll just do another layer, you know? a subtle ocean. So I'm going to turn my hands off a little bit, give my ATD time lapse close up. Some nerve. So if you guys want to see this video again in a time-lapse format, make sure you check out our other channel, ATD Time Lapse. <laughs> Never mind Lil Weezy in the background. The little one as well. 
Bravo, standing ovation. Thank you, Clara. Echo and everything? All right, should I take the tape off now? What is that, Sparrowhawk? Sparhawk? I can barely read that. Was the clear resin on the sand side and the white on the rainbow? So the clear, I put down to kind of gauge where my water is going to be. And then I put the white where part of the white touches the sandy part and part of it touched the clear. Now I'm just edging up my shoreline wave. You just read and said that blend looks is so nice. She used what? How many colors you use? Three. Three colors she used. Unless you count the white. No, because that didn't make anything. Yeah, Kathy, I want to put some gold leaf. I want to make some clear ones with gold leaf. I think that would look super nice. Moose wrapper name would be Lil Weezy. Lil Weezy. All right, I'm going to take this to the dust free zone and then we'll finish up these uh, coasters. You got maybe two coasters and kinda. Did they all rock? Did it? It just, it's, I can't see them. The, uh, like, they look like they're under. But, this looks so fun. Oh, you did get a little. They all look like beach. Should I like push fun. this off onto them? I would turn it and like scrape it maybe. All right, I gotta scrape it. Thank you, Rumpel. We would appreciate it if you guys smash that like button. We'd appreciate it if you guys share this video as well. Get it out there. Let people see what you can do with three colors in your imagination. Um, if you just joined us, we are using just resin diamond coat. We do sell that on our website. We used some pigments from Color Obsession. What are those pigments, babe? Um, transparent tints. Transparent tints from Color Obsession. And then titanium white from this resin. Should I take this tape off now? Um, I don't know. I don't. I, I wouldn't. Maybe because you're gonna get stuff on it. Like, it's just that reservoir is so full down there. We're gonna try to bring it around. without it coming back onto my surface. I think, I think it'll it. fall. I think it'll just kind of... No, it's, it's doing it. It's working its way around. Find its way around. Well, we got a whole a half a set of dominoes. I'm surprised. I'm surprised at how much orange showed up in this. Is it a full set? I don't know. I don't play dominoes, so I have no idea. Maybe it is a full set. I don't think it's supposed to be a pair. You're not supposed to match them. You're supposed to have the best of them, right? You're supposed to. I have no idea. I don't know. It's been too long since I've played.
So what I'm doing right now is trying to make sure there's a little bit of resin all the way down. Because as you know, resin likes to go where it's already been. So I'm just trying to make a pathway for this resin to flow. What do you guys think of my rainbow ocean? Are you going to try it in the future? I don't understand how these work. Like, how do you set these up? Yeah, I thought you said you used to play dominoes. I never, I never told you that. I said I don't. My, my stepbrothers knew how to play. I don't, I don't know how to play this game. I didn't tell you. Girl. Crazy. One and one. Yeah, this is weird. I don't understand how to set these up. All the fives and the fours and the threes and the double threes and the double fours. What? You just have to match them. I'm talking about like, like how they go in order. I guess I can look at this thing. Sorry this part's kind of boring you guys. I just want to make the resin go all the way around. So blank one. Side note, the resin that's in this reservoir looks pretty fun. It just looks like what's in a dirty pour cup and it's just in it's in there it's all willy-nilly willy-nilly i've almost connected the two sides Have you guys used these um, cradle boards that have the moat around them yet? What are your thoughts? Steph, you just turn them upside down and shuffle them. No beginner's class on here? What? You teach me how to play dominoes. I don't even want to play because it never looks fun to me. <laughs> I never wanted to learn. What are you doing now? I have been talking about what I'm doing for 15 minutes. I'm talking to them. But you're here. I was basically draining the pool of resin that was over on that side. It looks like the Roar Borealis. Roar Borealis. Roar Borealis. Roar Borealis. Look at that clean white edge. B. I'm mm. gonna eat. Mm. Leave the tape on. No tape. Make sure to groom our dust free zone. Yeah, I am not good at this math. Three, four. So is this a whole set, you guys? This this whole thing? This is a whole set? Or do you make one and then you make another but different colors? How does that work? Do you guys ever want to show people your best? Right, 
guys. I'm going to take this bad boy to the DFZ, and I'll be The right DFZ. Bow, 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 bow. So from when I tilted it up to get all that resin to move, it moved this some, and mm -hmm. I'm not mad at it at all. It looks good. Oh, Jeff, I was asking about a alcohol eat class for beginners. I feel like we'll probably do an alcohol ink class next month. Maybe. I'm very nervous about it because I don't consider myself knowledgeable in alcohol ink enough to teach people. But I think that's what's going to happen. BRB. Um, let's see here. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to annihilate your name. I want to say it's Marcia. I, I apologize, I'm a horrible reader, horrible speller. <laughs> I had a question about what area to fill in first on the board that I bought. But it has trail bla trailblazers written on it. That is what I am trying to figure out where to put the resin first. Which question? I don't I don't know. I think you just you're just pouring clear resin over it just Put it where everywhere. Wait, can everybody see the, that? Yeah. Start with these. Marsha. But he says alcohol in class would be fun. I see a couple smash coasters coming. Claire says, I would do that if I was there. Let me add it. Claire said what? Smash coasters. Smash, smash. Hi, Cujo. It is not yet that time, boo boo. Hi. Well, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Get a little here. You get it. I want it on here. Turn around. Whoa. There you go. Don't start that. You're right by the microphone. Don't start that. I okay. kind of like this one just how it is, so I'm it just going to... Whoa. Oh my god, the green building is a big candy cane. That's so fun. Alright, I don't even, I'm not even a fan of orange, but I like how this coaster looks, so... I just put a little white down to stretch the image this way. So I think that one's good. We're going to set that bad boy aside. Pull the next one. I'm not even sure what to say about this one. That looks like real orange. Is it orange? It is orange. It looks like this. How strange is that? Yeah. It's so interesting. I can't decide if I want it to live or it? not. I did smush it. Ew. I don't even see this one. So let's put some resin on the sides. What do you want, Bowie? And then we'll tilt it here? around. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Why do you stretch? I'm going to walk away from you, silly. That's how Bowie's do. If 
I follow the link on Amazon, all kinds of stuff comes up. Do you have a link for stuff you use for the pores? Um, what are you looking for specifically? Are you looking for the products that I used today? Because those aren't going to be found on Amazon. All right. I like this one and this one. I'm going to take it to the dust free zone and we're going to do the rest of these coasters. Like, I love that, the one from today and a long time. Like, I'm super proud of that. I wish there was more of any other color than orange, but orange has a place in society. Okay, Moose. Kind of. I mean, it's a small place, but it's there. Cujo, my love. Go lay down. I know. Go lay down. You'll feel better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cujo. Precious little easy. Remember I said these colors look well mixed together? I meant the pink mixes well with the blue, the pink mixes well with the yellow, the yellow mixes well with the blue, the yellow mixes well with, you know what I mean, the one-on-one -on -one colors. When they all mix together, they're going to make a hideous brownie green color, so I'm trying really hard not to do that, but it's almost inevitable at this point. If you used hashtag ATV for Amazon, you may purchase anything and hashtag ATV will get This almost looks like flames coming up. The Oh yeah, that's fun. <laughs> my finger in that, that's cool. All right, I like how this one looks. What do you guys think? Let this one live. I like how this one looks. We'll let this one live. You're like halfway in the. You need that's like pointing almost this way. Can you see? Yeah, a little better. Now I can see all the people. On Facebook. On YouTube. It just shows that. That's so crazy. Sorry if I haven't answered anybody from YouTube, or I'm sorry, uh, Facebook. What happened on Facebook? Um, I, just, I, I didn't see the people talking. You have to switch over. See people chatting on multi-stream.
welcome, Carrie. That's fun. That one's super fun. Emmanuel wants to know, is that the titanium light? It is. up manual. Hey, you're in the solve it. That's all I have. You should be able to make cells. I I still to this day have people asking me how to get cells. I answer them just the same as I would had I not been making a video every day on how to do cells. But, you know, I, I just want to encourage everyone to try. See. You know, it is it is intimidating when you first start using resin. But, even Jeff and I mess up. I did a tutorial on a side-by-side -side of how to get cells and what the different kinds of whites do. Uh, almost none of them sold for me that day. So just keep in mind, not every day is perfect. Not every pour is perfect. Yeah. But even if it doesn't turn out, you still get the experience of doing that piece, which is invaluable. Marcia said, when COVID is over, I would love to come to a class in Texas or host, host you in Oregon. We would love to do it either in both of them. Yeah. Out. I caught boy cat in there. You have to sacrifice two chickens for ocean cells. <laughs> That's just newbies. I'm a good boy. I know it. But you don't have to get all worked up. I'm right here. I hear you. I see you. You're my big boy. Your biggest one. You're the biggest one. You're so ferocious. You know it. Thank you. Can you come up here? Come here. Oh, watch it's a big jumper. Alright, you guys. Thank you to Just Resin for giving me a resin that I can do tilt oceans with. I guess I'm going to call that a tilt. I don't know what else to call it. But I know that I've tried it with seven other resins and it doesn't quite work the same. This one I did the same process but with something, Mastercast. It doesn't look bad but it doesn't look the same. B, can you see this on camera? You can. It doesn't look bad at all. On, on this one but I can switch it to you need to you need to just set it down. There we go. Not bad, but not it looks more like the moon. Can you still see those dimples? Dimples? The dimples, dimples. Um, I mean, no. But you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just not the same. So Just keep that in mind as you try to resin at home. Not all resins are created equally. My favorite resin, my go-to, 
my art coat. I can't get those kind of ocean waves with art coat or countertop. Now, if I were to let art coat or countertop set up for half of their working time, it may work. I still have to try that out, but it, that could make it a consistency that would hold up to that much heat. As it stands, if I mix the resin and just do it flat out like that, it um, the waves melt away. So, are we coming over there? No, you, you're there. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, any questions that we have forgotten to answer or missed? Do we miss any questions? Mm -hmm. I'm talking to my mom. Um, so then I can come over there and answer questions if you want to do that. They're just saying bye and hi and what? What? What do you want me to do? Nothing. I just, since you were talking to your mom and not um, reading this, I was like, well, I'll come over there. I, yeah, you can still see me too. Yeah. It's not as bad. Mm -hmm. Roxy, thank you so much. Morning, Donna Parker. Have a great day. Thank you, TG. Appreciate it, Clara. Noble, I appreciate it. Vamp, what's up? Hey, Evelyn. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching, for checking us out today. And seeing what we're doing. Okay, hold on. All the boys and I say uh, that we love you guys so, so much. Please read all of, nope, all of these things. Do, 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 do. Nozzles. Um, I... I have those nozzles, I have spare nozzles I can add to the website. If that's what you're asking, Evelyn. Yes, I do have mermaid hair. It is purple. Mm. Yes, Vamp. I do have nozzles. Um, I have nozzles. I have, I think, 10 in stock. I'll add those to the website right now. So if you guys want one of those wedding cake topper nozzles, looks like this. It's called a concentrator. And because it has these little ridges on the sides, you can make it um, bigger or smaller to fit most heat guns. So yeah, Lisa, congrats on your first ever, ever sale. That's a big, big deal. I'm sure I have something on here. <laughs> congrats. Karen, you had a successful ocean pour. I will check it out, Karen. I haven't. I haven't had time to get on social media much lately, but I will check it out. Um, so yeah, you guys rock. Don't forget to read all of these things. Follow us on all these places. And um, we'll see you guys. On the flip side. Tomorrow. I don't know what tomorrow has in store. So Sunday. May go live early. May go live regular. Who knows? Join our poor people's. Facebook group to know uh, if we change the time that we're going to go live. Um, of course you saw that, Vamp. 
So yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow for another amazing installment of what is ATD going to paint today? And um, yeah, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And um, say it so I can say it. You're going to say the, th the my part? You're going to say yeah. my part? Yeah. So I got to remember your words. Um, and remember. Oh, and remember, we do the test. So you don't have to, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. Yeah, that's normally the guy that's like in the back. Mm. Okay. He would say that, like he's the guy. Remember, guys, we do the test, and then another guy would say, "So you don't have to, Chuck." Goofy. Chuck, tell them what they win. That's Chuck, you know. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. We love you guys. Have an awesome evening. Stay safe. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I said bye. I feel like even if we had it to where it was like for our like logo it would sound cool not mean <laughs>